What's up everybody? Today we're unboxing this Papa Parade figure of Amaterasu from Okami. Now this was a critically acclaimed video game released back in 2006, and many people consider it a classic. So Okami is based on Japanese folklore and mythology, so you set out on this grand adventure to save Japan from this curse, and you get to literally watch as you bring the color and life to this land that was covered in darkness. And it's very unique in that it incorporated this traditional ink brush style of painting into its story, the art direction, and even the gameplay. The funny thing is that I actually pre-ordered the figure before I played the game. Uh, usually you buy the merchandise after you enjoyed the series, but I've always loved the aesthetic and character design of Okami whenever I came across it, but I just need a little extra motivation to actually play the game, and now that I bought the figure, I finally sat down and played it. And I'm very glad I did because now I have a much greater appreciation for this figure, but enough backstory, let's open it up. I do appreciate that Good Smile went the extra mile and made the box a little reflective of the game's art style. You have the Okami logo on the right and Amaterasu's name on the left, and I really love that they have this gold Capcom sticker of Mega Man for authenticity. This was a little crazy to me, but this is the first Papa Parade I've seen where the base doesn't have any holes for the pegs. Obviously, Amaterasu can just stand on all fours, but I still wish it was attached to the base. I guess this does give you more options when it comes to displaying the figure, but then it doesn't look uniform with the rest of the Papa Parades. The figure does come with Isun, your tiny little Jiminy Cricket-like companion. Thankfully, Good Smile included this uh, in-depth instructions on how to attach him. It's a little hard to see, but he's that tiny little black silhouette in this spiky green capsule. He's Amaterasu's main companion and kind of comic relief for the game, so it's very nice that they included him. I will say the figure looks a little silly if you view it from the front at eye level, but I think it's better if you view it at a slight angle so you can actually see the eyes. But I'm really happy I finally get to appreciate Amaterasu's design in 3D with all the little swirls and the fire cloud-like fur on her sides and feet, as well as the ink brush tail. They even gave her a little doggy butthole. From above, you can see the reflector with the fire to go with her sun god theme. Good Smile also didn't forget to do the bottom of her paws, so if you really want, you can give her a little high five. Here is her next to the Alphonse figure just to compare the size. So even though the bases are the same, you can see that she's like half the height of a regular Papa Parade. And it made displaying her a little bit awkward because I like to make things symmetrical, but she's just so short in the back. I ended up rearranging my Papa Parades like this, leaving a bunch of space there for future Papa Parades. Um, but you can see her a lot better now. And she's next to Keanu Reeves, so maybe an alternate universe of John Wick and his dog. I also thought it'd be a neat idea to try to display her in the box with the backdrop, but I think the Pop Parade logo just covers up too much. So that's about it for the Amaterasu figure, but I could go on about Okami, so we can talk down in the comments, or let me know if you want me to make a separate video. But as always, thanks for watching, subscribing would be awesome, and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye bye